not running out of fingers think like uber why am i starting with the ring finger similarly using three different fingers starting with the ring finger most of the time it is not about repeatedly playing the phrase but really knowing what is going on underneath three different fingers like climbing the stairs future memory it is not enough to just use any finger which we feel convenient at that moment we need to also adjust for what phrase came before and what will come later so i'm starting with the ring finger i could start with the middle finger but now i need to lift this and go to the first fret to continue with the next instead i calculated that i can start with the ring finger then the middle finger will take care of the move and still i have the index finger left i'm not running out of fingers think like uber or a taxi service we have four cars four resources available we don't need to use just one we don't need to lift it and then take it elsewhere instead if we plan it properly while this finger is here we already can start using the next finger to continue with the movement if we want to go beyond being amateur and be more confident about our playing we need to plan our finger we will not run out of fingers if we plan it and if we run out of fingers then our chances of playing at a higher level is less here i started with the ring finger instead of using one finger to do one see if i lift it even the string may sound instead i'm playing here and i have i have the finger still on the second string while i can already move and play with the index finger similarly with the mahaganapatim song One slide, index finger, second string slide with the middle, correctly accounted for. Whatever you are playing, all it you are playing for the fingering efficiency. We need to have, like I said, a little bit of future memory. This also allows you to practice phrases separately. If you make sure that you are accounting for what came before, the fingering usage of what came before and what will come later, then whatever phrase you practice separately, you can practice it as well as you want and still connect it with what comes before and what will come later and you will not run out of fingers. Here I am starting with a pull off, ending with the index finger. I don't have to go any further here, so it's all right. Coming back. immediately going with the next finger on a hammer on so that the sound is continuous practicing repeatedly without making these corrections will not improve your playing whatever you may be playing look for fingering efficiency like i mentioned here connectedness and other underlying principles which will make your playing sound better and you will also feel more confident if you need help we run groups for corrections exactly like students show us what they want to play what they are trying to play what their current skill level and interest are and we give them specific underlying corrections which they can make to make improve their playing as you saw most of the time it is not about repeatedly playing the phrase but really knowing what is going on underneath